Gdansk, also U.S., Polish, Daj SK Listen, Kashubian, Gdansk, German, Danzig Danch Listen is a city on the Baltic coast of northern Poland. With a population of 466,631, Gdansk is the capital and largest city of the Pomeranian Voivodeship and one of the most prominent cities within the cultural and geographical region of Kashubia. It is Poland's principal seaport and the center of the country's fourth largest metropolitan area. The city is situated on the southern edge of Gdansk Bay on the Baltic Sea, in a conurbation with the city of Gdynia, spa town of Sopot, and suburban communities. These form a metropolitan area called the Tri City, with a population approaching 1.4 million. Gdansk lies at the mouth of the Motlawa River, connected to the Linuka, a branch in the delta of the nearby Vistula River, which drains 60% of Poland and connects Gdansk with the Polish capital, Warsaw. Together with the nearby port of Gdynia, Gdansk is also a notable industrial centre. The city's history is complex, with periods of Polish, Prussian and German rule, and periods of autonomy or self-rule as a free city-state. In the early modern age Gdańsk was a royal city of Poland. It was considered the wealthiest and the largest city of Poland, prior to the 18th century rapid growth of Warsaw. In the late Middle Ages it was an important seaport and shipbuilding town and, in the 14th and 15th centuries, a member of the Hanseatic League. In the interwar period, owing to its multi-ethnic makeup and history, Gdańsk lay in a disputed region between Poland and Germany, which became known as the Polish Corridor. The city's ambiguous political status was exploited, furthering tension between the two countries, which would ultimately culminate in the invasion of Poland and the first clash of the Second World War just outside the city limits, followed by the flight and expulsion of the majority of the previous population in 1945. In the 1980s it would become the birthplace of the Solidarity Movement, which played a major role in bringing an end to communist rule in Poland and helped precipitate the collapse of the Eastern Bloc, the fall of the Berlin Wall and the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Gdańsk is home to the University of Gdańsk, Gdańsk University of Technology, the National Museum, the Gdańsk Shakespeare Theatre, the Museum of the Second World War, Polish Baltic Philharmonic and the European Solidarity Centre. The city also hosts St. Dominic's Fair, which dates back to 1260, and is regarded as one of the biggest trade and cultural events in Europe. Gdańsk has also topped rankings for the quality of life, safety and living standards worldwide. Topic: Names. The city's name is thought to originate from the G Danya River, the original name of the Motlawa branch on which the city is situated. The name of a settlement was recorded after St. Adalbert's death in AD 997 as Herbs Gidanich and later was written as Kdanzk in 1148, Gdanzc in 1188, Dansk in 1228, Gdansk in 1236, Danzc in 1263, Danczk in 1311, Danchik in 1399, Danzig in 1414, Gdansk in 1656. In Polish the modern name of the city is pronounced Daj SK listen. In English where the diacritic over the N is frequently omitted the usual pronunciation is or. The German name, Danzig, is pronounced as Danch listen. The city's Latin name may be given as either Gdania, Gedanum or Dantiscum. The variety of Latin names reflects the mixed influence of the city's Polish, German and Kashubian heritage. Other former spellings of the name include Danzig, Danczyć and Danczyć. Topic: <laughs> Ceremonial names. On special occasions the city is also referred to as the Royal Polish City of Gdańsk. 
Polish Kroluski Polski Miasto Gdańsk, Latin Regia Civitas Polonica Gdanensis, Kashubian Kroluszczy Polci Gard Gdańsk. In the Kashubian language the city is called Gdańsk. Although some Kashubian may also use the name, Our Capital City Gdańsk, Nasz Stoleczny Gard Gdańsk or the Kashubian capital city Gdansk. Stoleczny Kazebszzy Gard Gdansk. The cultural and historical connections between the city and the region of Kashubia are debatable, and use of such names rises controversy among Kashubian. History Early Poland The first written record thought to refer to Gdansk is the Vita of St. Adalbert. Written in 999, it describes how in 997 St. Adalbert of Prague baptized the inhabitants of Erbs Gidanich, which separated the great realm of the Duke i.e. Bolesław the Brave of Poland from the sea. No further written sources exist for the 10th and 11th centuries. Based on the date in Adalbert's Vita, the city celebrated its millennial anniversary in 1997. Archaeological evidence for the origins of the town was retrieved mostly after World War II had laid 90% of the city centre in ruins, enabling excavations. The oldest 17 settlement levels were dated to between 980 and 1308. It is generally thought that Mieszko I of Poland erected a stronghold on the site in the 980s, thereby connecting the Polish state ruled by the Piast dynasty with the trade routes of the Baltic Sea. Traces of buildings and housing from 10th century have been found in archaeological excavations of the city. Pomeranian Poland The site was ruled as a duchy of Poland by the Samborides. It consisted of a settlement at the modern Long Market, settlements of craftsmen along the Old Ditch, German merchant settlements around St. Nicholas's Church and the Old Piast stronghold. In 1186, a Cistercian monastery was set up in nearby Aliwa, which is now within the city limits. In 1215, the ducal stronghold became the center of a Pomerelian splinter duchy. At that time the area of the later city included various villages. From at least 1224-25 a German market settlement with merchants from Lübeck existed in the area of today's Long Market. In 1224-25, merchants from Lübeck were invited as hospits. Immigrants with specific privileges but were soon in 1238 forced to leave by Swantopolk II of the Samborides during a war between Swantopolk and the Teutonic Knights, during which Lübeck supported the latter. Migration of merchants to the town resumed in 1257. Significant German influence did not reappear until the 14th century, after the takeover of the city by the Teutonic Knights. At latest in 1263 Pomerelian Duke, Swantopolk II, granted city rights under Lübeck law to the emerging market settlement. It was an autonomy charter similar to that of Lübeck, which was also the primary origin of many settlers. In a document of 1271 the Pomerelian Duke Mestwin II, addressed the Lübeck merchants settled in the city as his loyal citizens from Germany. In 1300, the town had an estimated population of 2,000. While overall the town was not a very important trade centre at that time, it had some relevance in the trade with Eastern Europe. Low on funds, the Samborides lent the settlement to Brandenburg, although they planned to take the city back and give it to Poland. Poland threatened to intervene, and Brandenburg left the town. Subsequently, the city was taken by Danish princes in 1301. The Teutonic Knights were hired by the Polish nobles to drive out the Danes. Topic. 
Teutonic Knights In 1308, the town was taken by Brandenburg and the Teutonic Knights restored order. Subsequently, the Knights took over control of the town. Primary sources record a massacre carried out by the Teutonic Knights on the local population, of 10,000 people, but the exact number killed is subject of dispute in modern scholarship. Some authors accept the number given in the original sources, while others consider 10,000 to have been a medieval exaggeration, although scholarly consensus is that a massacre of some magnitude did take place. The events were used by the Polish crown to condemn the Teutonic Knights in a subsequent papal lawsuit. The Knights colonized the area, replacing local Kashubian and Poles with German settlers. In 1308, they founded Osiak Hackelwerk near the town, initially as a Slavic fishing settlement. In 1340, the Teutonic Knights built a large fortress, which became the seat of the Knights Komtor. In 1346 they changed the town law of the city, which then consisted only of the Rechtsstaat, to Kulm law. In 1358, Danzig joined the Hanseatic League, and became an active member in 1361. It maintained relations with the trade centers Bruges, Novgorod, Lisboa and Sevilla. Around 1377, the old town was equipped with city rights as well. In 1380, the new town was founded as the third, independent settlement, after a series of Polish Teutonic Wars. In the Treaty of Kalish 1343, the order had to acknowledge that it would hold Pomerelia as a fief from the Polish crown. Although it left the legal basis of the order's possession of the province in some doubt, the city thrived as a result of increased exports of grain especially wheat, timber, potash, tar, and other goods of forestry from Prussia and Poland via the Vistula River trading routes, although after its capture, the Teutonic Knights tried to actively reduce the economic significance of the town. While under the control of the Teutonic Order German migration increased. The order's religious networks helped to develop Danzig's literary culture. A new war broke out in 1409, culminating in the Battle of Grunwald 1410, and the city came under the control of the Kingdom of Poland. A year later, with the first piece of thorn, it returned to the Teutonic Order. Topic: <laughs> Kingdom of Poland. In 1440, the city participated in the foundation of the Prussian Confederation which was an organization opposed to the rule of the Teutonic Knights. This led to the Thirteen Years' War against the Teutonic monastic state of Prussia 1454-1466. On 25 May 1457 the city gained its rights and independence as an autonomous city. On 15 May 1457, Casimir IV of Poland granted the town the great privilege, after he had been invited by the town's council and had already stayed in town for five weeks. With the great privilege, the town was granted full autonomy and protection by the King of Poland. The privilege removed tariffs and taxes on trade within Poland, Lithuania and Ruthenia present-day Belarus and Ukraine and conferred on the town independent jurisdiction, legislation and administration of her territory, as well as the right to mint its own coin. Furthermore, the privilege united Old Town, Osiak and Main Town, and legalized the demolition of New Town, which had sided with the Teutonic Knights. By 1457, New Town was demolished completely, no buildings remained, gaining free and privileged access to Polish markets, the seaport prospered while simultaneously trading with the other Hanseatic cities. After the Second Peace of Thorn 1466, with the Teutonic monastic state of Prussia the warfare between the latter and the Polish crown ended permanently. After the union of Lublin between Poland and Lithuania in 1569 the city continued to enjoy a large degree of internal autonomy cf. Danzig law. 
Being the largest and one of the most influential cities of Poland, it enjoyed voting rights during the royal election period in Poland. In 1569 a Mennonite church was founded here. In the 1575 election of a king to the Polish throne, Danzig supported Maximilian II against Stephen Batory. It was the latter who eventually became monarch but the city, encouraged by the secret support of Denmark and Emperor Maximilian, shut its gates against Stephen. After the siege of Danzig 1577, lasting six months, the city's army of 5,000 mercenaries was utterly defeated in a field battle on 16 December 1577. However, since Stephen's armies were unable to take the city by force, a compromise was reached. Stephen Batory confirmed the city's special status and her Danzig law privileges granted by earlier Polish kings. The city recognized him as ruler of Poland and paid the enormous sum of 200,000 guldens in gold as payoff. Apology. Around 1640, Johannes Hevelius established his astronomical observatory in the Old Town. Polish King John III Sobieski regularly visited Hevelius numerous times. Beside a majority of German speakers, whose elites sometimes distinguished their German dialect as Pomeralian, the city was home to a large number of Polish-speaking Poles, Jewish Poles, Latvian-speaking Kursineki, Flemings and Dutch. In addition, a number of Scots took refuge or migrated to and received citizenship in the city. During the Protestant Reformation, most German-speaking inhabitants adopted Lutheranism. Due to the special status of the city and significance within the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, the city inhabitants largely became bicultural sharing both Polish and German culture and were strongly attached to the traditions of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. The city suffered a last great plague and a slow economic decline due to the wars of the 18th century. As a stronghold of Stanislaw Leszczynski's supporters during the War of the Polish Succession, it was taken by the Russians after the Siege of Danzig in 1734. The Danzig Research Society in German Naturforschung der Gesellschaft in Danzig founded in 1743 was one of the first of its kind. Topic. Prussia and Germany. Danzig was annexed by the Kingdom of Prussia in 1793, in the Second Partition of Poland. An attempted student uprising against Prussia led by Gottfried Benjamin Bartholdi was crushed quickly by the authorities in 1797. During the Napoleonic era, the city became a free city from 1807 to 1814. In 1815, after France's defeat in the Napoleonic Wars, it again became part of Prussia and became the capital of Regierungsbezirk Danzig within the province of West Prussia. The city's longest-serving president was Robert von Blumenthal, who held office from 1841, through the revolutions of 1848, until 1863. With the unification of Germany in 1871 under Prussian hegemony, the city became part of the German Empire and remained so until 1919, after Germany's defeat in World War I. Inter-war years and World War II When Poland regained its independence after World War I with access to the sea as promised by the Allies on the basis of Woodrow Wilson's 14 points, point 13 called for an independent Polish state, which should be assured of free and secure access to the sea. The Poles hoped the city's harbour would also become part of Poland. However, in the end, since Germans formed a majority in the city, with Poles being a minority in the 1923 census 7,896 people out of 335,921 gave Polish, Kashubian or Masurian as their native language the city was not placed under Polish sovereignty. 
Instead, in accordance with the terms of the Versailles Treaty, it became the Free City of Danzig German, Freistadt Danzig, an independent quasi-state under the auspices of the League of Nations with its external affairs largely under Polish control, without, however, any public vote to legitimize Germany's loss of the city. Poland's rights also included free use of the harbour, a Polish post office, a Polish garrison in Westerplatt district, and customs union with Poland. This led to a considerable tension between the city and the Republic of Poland. The Free City had its own constitution, national anthem, parliament Volkstag, and government Senat. It issued its own stamps as well as its currency, the Danzig Gulden. In the early 1930s the local Nazi party capitalized on pro-German sentiments and in 1933 garnered 50% of vote in the parliament. Thereafter, the Nazis under Gauleiter Albert Forster achieved dominance in the city government, which was still nominally overseen by the League of Nations High Commissioner. The German government officially demanded the return of Danzig to Germany along with an extraterritorial meaning under German jurisdiction highway through the area of the Polish corridor for land-based access from the rest of Germany. Hitler used the issue of the status of the city as a pretext for attacking Poland and on May 1939, during a high-level meeting of German military officials explained to them. It is not Danzig that is at stake. For us it is a matter of expanding our Lebensraum in the east. Adding that there will be no repeat of the Czech situation, and Germany will attack Poland at first opportunity, after isolating the country from its western allies. After the German proposals to solve the three main issues peacefully were refused and the 16-point proposal had been undermined by the British government Navy Minister Cooper, German-Polish relations rapidly deteriorated. Germany attacked Poland on 1 September after having signed a non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union this includes the secret part with the upcoming treatment of the Baltic states in late August and after postponing the attack three times due to needed time for diplomatic, peaceful solutions. The German attack began in Danzig, with a bombardment of Polish positions at Westerplatt by the German battleship Schleswig-Holstein, and the landing of German infantry on the peninsula. Outnumbered Polish defenders at Westerplatt resisted for seven days before running out of ammunition. Meanwhile, after a fierce day-long fight, the 1st of September 1939, defenders of the Polish post office were tried and executed then buried on the spot in the Danzig quarter of Zaspa in October 1939. In 1998 a German court overturned their conviction and sentence. The city was officially annexed by Nazi Germany and incorporated into the Reichsgau Danzig West Prussia. About 50% of members of the Jewish community of Danzig had left the city within a year after a pogrom in October 1937. After the Kristallnacht riots in November 1938, the community decided to organize its emigration, and in March 1939, a first transport to Palestine started. By September 1939, barely 1,700 mostly elderly Jews remained. In early 1941, just 600 Jews were still living in Danzig, most of whom were later murdered in the Holocaust. Out of the 2,938 Jewish community in the city 1,227 were able to escape from the Nazis before the outbreak of war. Nazi secret police had been observing Polish minority communities in the city since 1936, compiling information, which in 1939 served to prepare lists of Poles to be captured in Operation Tannenberg. On the first day of the war, approximately 1,500 ethnic Poles were arrested, some because of their participation in social and economic life, others because they were activists and members of various Polish organizations. 
On 2 September 1939, 150 of them were deported to the Sicherheitsdienst camp Stutthof some 30 miles 48 km from Danzig, and murdered. Many Poles living in Danzig were deported to Stutthof or executed in the Piasnica forest. In 1941, Hitler ordered the invasion of the Soviet Union, eventually causing the fortunes of war to turn against Germany. As the Soviet army advanced in 1944, German populations in Central and Eastern Europe took flight, resulting in the beginning of a great population shift. After the final Soviet offensives began in January 1945, hundreds of thousands of German refugees converged on Danzig, many of whom had fled on foot from East Prussia. Some tried to escape through the city's port in a large scale evacuation involving hundreds of German cargo and passenger ships. Some of the ships were sunk by the Soviets, including the Wilhelm Gustloff after an evacuation was attempted at neighboring Gdynia. In the process, tens of thousands of refugees were killed. The city also endured heavy Allied and Soviet air raids. Those who survived and could not escape had to face the Soviet army, which captured the heavily damaged city on 30 March 1945, followed by large-scale rape and looting. In line with the decisions made by the Allies at the Yalta and Potsdam conferences, the city was annexed by Poland. The remaining German residents of the city who had survived the war fled or were forcibly expelled from their home city to post-war Germany, and the city was repopulated by ethnic Poles, up to 18% of them had been deported by the Soviets in two major waves from Polish areas annexed by the Soviet Union, i.e. from the eastern portion of pre-war Poland. Topic. Contemporary times Parts of the historic old city of Gdansk, which had suffered large-scale destruction during the war, were rebuilt during the 1950s and 1960s. The reconstruction was not tied to the city's pre-war appearance, but instead was politically motivated as a means of culturally cleansing and destroying all traces of German influence from the city. Any traces of German tradition were ignored, suppressed, or regarded as Prussian barbarism, only worthy of demolition, while Flemish, Dutch, Italian and French influences were used to replace the historically accurate Germanic architecture which the city was built upon since the 14th century, boosted by heavy investment in the development of its port and three major shipyards for Soviet ambitions in the Baltic region, Gdansk became the major shipping and industrial center of the Communist People's Republic of Poland. In December 1970, Gdańsk was the scene of anti-regime demonstrations, which led to the downfall of Poland's communist leader Władysław Gomułka. During the demonstrations in Gdańsk and Gdynia, military as well as the police opened fire on the demonstrators causing several dozen deaths. Ten years later, in August, 1980, Gdańsk shipyard was the birthplace of the Solidarity Trade Union movement. In September 1981, in order to deter solidarity, Soviet Union launched Exercise Zapad 81, the largest military exercise in history, during which amphibious landings were conducted near Gdansk. Meanwhile, the Solidarity held its first national congress in Hala Olivia, Gdansk when more than 800 deputies participated. Its opposition to the communist regime led to the end of Communist Party rule in 1989, and sparked a series of protests that overthrew the communist regimes of the former Soviet bloc. Solidarity's leader, Lech Walesa, became president of Poland in 1990. In 2014 the European Solidarity Center, a museum and library devoted to the history of the movement, opened in Gdańsk. Gdańsk native Donald Tusk became Prime Minister of Poland in 2007, and President of the European Council in 2014. Today Gdańsk is a major shipping port and tourist destination. 
In January 2019, the mayor of Gdansk, Pavel Adamovich, was assassinated by a man who had just been released from prison for violent crimes. The man claimed after stabbing the mayor in the abdomen, near the heart, that the mayor's political party had been responsible for imprisoning him. Though Adamovich was able to undergo a multi hour surgery to try to treat his wounds, he died the next day. Topic. Geography Topic. Climate Gdansk has a climate with both oceanic and continental influences. According to some categorizations, it has an oceanic climate CFB, while others classify it as belonging to the continental climate zone DFB. It actually depends on whether the mean reference temperature for the coldest winter month is set at minus 3 degrees Celsius 27 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Gdansk's dry winters and the precipitation maximum in summer are indicators of continentality. However seasonal extremes are less pronounced than those in inland Poland. The city has moderately cold and cloudy winters with mean temperature in January and February near or below 0 degrees Celsius 32 degrees Fahrenheit and mild summers with frequent showers and thunderstorms. Average temperatures range from minus 1.0 to 17.2 degrees Celsius 30 to 63 degrees Fahrenheit and average monthly rainfall varies 17.9 to 66.7 mm 1 to 3 in per month with a rather low annual total of 507.3 mm 20 in. In general, it is damp, variable, and mild. The seasons are clearly differentiated. Spring starts in March and is initially cold and windy, later becoming pleasantly warm and often very sunny. Summer, which begins in June, is predominantly warm but hot at times with temperature reaching as high as 30 to 35 degrees Celsius 86 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit at least couple times a year with plenty of sunshine interspersed with heavy rain. Gdansk averages 1,700 hours of sunshine per year. July and August are the warmest months. Autumn comes in September and is at first warm and usually sunny, turning cold, damp, and foggy in November. Winter lasts from December to March and includes periods of snow. January and February are the coldest months with the temperature sometimes dropping as low as minus 15 degrees Celsius 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Topic economy The industrial sections of the city are dominated by shipbuilding, petrochemical and chemical industries, and food processing. The share of high-tech sectors such as electronics, telecommunications, IT engineering, cosmetics and pharmaceuticals is on the rise. Amber processing is also an important part of the local economy, as the majority of the world's amber deposits lie along the Baltic coast. The Pomeranian Voivodeship, including Gdansk, is also a major tourist destination in the summer, as millions of Poles and other European tourists flock to the beaches of the Baltic coastline. Major companies in Gdansk <laughs> Main sites Topic. Architecture The city has some buildings surviving from the time of the Hanseatic League. Most tourist attractions are located along or near Ulica Deluga Long Street and Delugi Targ Long Market, a pedestrian thoroughfare surrounded by buildings reconstructed in historical primarily during the 17th century style and flanked at both ends by elaborate city gates. This part of the city is sometimes referred to as the Royal Route, since it was once the former path of processions for visiting kings of Poland. 
Walking from end to end, sites encountered on or near the royal route include Highland Gate, Brahma Wisena, Torture House, Catania, Prison Tower, Wiza Wiziana, Mansion of the Society of Saint George, Dwar Braktwa Su, Jertsago, Golden Gate, Zalata Brahma, Long Street, Yulika Deluga. Uphagan's House, Dom Upagina, Lion's Castle, LWI Zamek, Main Town Hall, Radis Glonego Miasta, built 1378 to 1492, Long Market, Delugi Targ, Artis Court, Dwar Artusa, Neptune's Fountain, Fontana Neptuna, Golden House, Zalata Kamenitsa. Green Gate Zilona Brahma Gdansk has a number of historical churches, including St. Catherine's Church and St. Mary's Church Basilica Mariachka. This latter is a municipal church built during the 15th century, and is the largest brick church in the world. The city's 17th-century fortifications represent one of Poland's official national historic monuments Pomnik History, as designated on 16 September 1994 and tracked by the National Heritage Board of Poland. Other main sites in the historical city centre include Royal Chapel of the Polish King John III Sobieski Zora, medieval port crane Gradoa Hill Granaries on the Olivianka and Granary Islands Great Armory John III Sobieski Monument Old Town Hall Jan Hueluz Monument Great Mill 1350 Small Mill House of Research Society Polish Post Office, site of the 1939 battle Brick Gothic Town Gates, i.e. Mariachka Gate, Straganiarska Gate, Kau Gatimane sites outside the historical city centre include Abbot's Palace in the Aliwa Park Lighthouse in Nawi Port Aliwa Cathedral Paholik Hill, an observation point in Aliwa Pier in Berzesno Westerplatte Wisluski Fortress Gdansk Zoo Topic Museums National Museum Museum Narodow Department of Ancient Art contains a number of important artworks including Hans Memling's Last Judgment Green Gate Department of Modern Art in the Abbot's Palace in Aliwa Ethnography Department, in the Abbot's Granary in Aliwa. Gdansk Photography Gallery. Historical Museum, Museum Historichens Miasta Gdanska. Main Town Hall. Artist Court. Uphagen's House. Amber Museum, Museum Burstenu. Museum of the Polish Post, Museum Poksty Polskij. Wartownia NR1 na Westerplatte Museum of Tower Clocks Museum Zegaro Wizowicz Wisluski Fortress National Maritime Museum Gdansk Narodow Museum Morski Zara Crane Granaries in Olivianka Museum ship SS Soldik is anchored on the Motlawa River and was the first ship built in post-war Poland European Solidarity Center. Museum and library dedicated to the history of the Solidarity Movement. Archaeological Museum, Museum Archaeologicans. Gdansk Nawi Port Lighthouse, Latarnia Morska Gdansk Nawi Port. Izba Pamici Wincentigo Pola W Gdansku Sobishui. Archdiocese Museum, Museum Arkadiceshalm. Museum of the Second World War Topic. Entertainment Polish Baltic Philharmonic Baltic Opera 
Teatr Wyberzeze. Gdansk Shakespeare Theatre is a Shakespearean theatre built on the historical site of a 17th century playhouse where English travelling players came to perform. The new theatre, completed in 2014, hosts the annual Gdansk Shakespeare Festival. Transport Gdansk Lech Walesa Airport, an international airport located in Gdansk. The Shipka Kolej Mieska, SKM, the fast urban railway, functions as a metro system for the Tri City area, including Gdansk, Sopit, and Gdynia, operating frequent trains to 27 stations covering the Tri City. The service is operated by electric multiple unit trains at a frequency of 6 minutes to 30 minutes between trains, depending on the time of day on the central section between Gdansk and Gdynia, and less frequently on outlying sections. The SKM system has been extended northwest of the Tri-City, to Wehirowo, Labork and Slups, 110 km 68 miles west of Gdynia, and to the south it has been extended to TCZEW, 31 km 19 miles south of Gdansk. Railways – The principal station in Gdansk is Gdansk Glauny Railway Station, served by both SKM local trains and PKP long-distance trains. In addition, long-distance trains also stop at Gdansk Aliwa Railway Station, Gdansk WRZESZCZ Railway Station, Sopit and Gdynia. Gdansk also has nine, nine other railway stations, served by local SKM trains. Long distance trains are operated by PKP Intercity which provides connections with all major Polish cities, including Warsaw, Kraków, Lodz, Poznan, Katowice and Szczecin, and with the neighboring Kashubian Lakes region. In 2011-2015 the warsaw gdansk gdynia railway route underwent a major upgrading costing $3 billion, partly funded by the European Investment Bank, including track replacement, realignment of curves and relocation of sections of track to allow speeds up to 200 km per hour 124 miles per hour, modernization of stations, and installation of the most modern ETCS signaling system, which was completed in June 2015. In December 2014 new Alstom Pendolino high-speed trains were put into service between Gdansk, Warsaw and Kraków reducing the rail travel time from Gdansk to Warsaw to 2 hours 58 minutes, further reduced in December 2015 to 2 hours 39 minutes. A new railway, Pomorska Kolej Metropolitalna PKM, the Pomeranian Metropolitan Railway, commenced service on 1 September 2015, connecting Gdansk Lech Walesa Airport with WRZESZCZ and downtown Gdansk. It connects to the Szybka Kolej Mieska SKM, which provides further connections to the entire area served by SKM. City buses and trams are operated by ZTM Gdansk Zarzad Transportu Mieskiego W. Gdansku. Port of Gdansk, a seaport located on the southern coast of Gdansk Bay within the city. Obwodnica Tromeshka, part of Expressway S6 that bypasses the cities of Gdansk, Sopit and Gdynia. The A1 motorway connects the port and city of Gdansk with the southern border of the country. As of 2014, some fragments of the A1 motorway are still incomplete. Gdansk is the starting point of the Eurovelo 9 cycling route, which continues southward through Poland, then into the Czech Republic, Austria, and Slovenia before ending at the Adriatic Sea in Pula, Croatia. Topic. Sports There are many popular professional sports teams in the Gdansk and Tricity area. Amateur sports are played by thousands of Gdansk citizens and also in schools of all levels elementary, secondary, university. 
The city's professional football club is Legia Gdańsk. Founded in 1945, they play in the Ekstraklasa, Poland's top division. Their home stadium, Stadion Energia Gdańsk, was one of the four Polish stadiums to host the UEFA Euro 2012 competition. In addition, it will also host the 2020 UEFA Europa League final. Other notable clubs include rugby club Lechia Gdańsk, 12 times Polish champion, and motorcycle speedway club Wybrzeze Gdańsk. The city's Hala Olivia was a venue for the official 2009 Eurobasket. Topic: <laughs> Politics and local government. Contemporary Gdansk is the capital of the province called Pomeranian Voivodeship and is one of the major centers of economic and administrative life in Poland. Many important agencies of the state and local government levels have their main offices here, the Provincial Administration Office, the Provincial Government, the Ministerial Agency of the State Treasury, the Agency for Consumer and Competition Protection, the National Insurance Regional Office, the Court of Appeals, and the High Administrative Court. Regional Center. Gdansk Voivodeship was extended in 1999 to include most of former Slup's Voivodeship, the western part of Elblag Voivodeship and Choinus County from Bydgoszcz Voivodeship to form the new Pomeranian Voivodeship. The area of the region was thus extended from 7,394 to 18,293 square kilometers, 2,855 to 7,063 square miles, and the population rose from 1,333,800 1980 to 2,198,000 2000. By 1998, Tricity constituted an absolute majority of the population, almost half of the inhabitants of the new region live in the center. Municipal government Legislative power in Gdansk is vested in a unicameral Gdansk City Council Rada Miasta, which comprises 34 members. Council members are elected directly every four years. Like most legislative bodies, the City Council divides itself into committees which have the oversight of various functions of the city government. City Council in 2002-2006 Civic Platform 15 seats Democratic Left Alliance, Labor Union 6 seats Law and Justice 6 seats League of Polish Families 5 seats Self-Defense of the Republic of Poland 1 seat Bogdan Borisewicz 1 seat City Council in 2006-2010 Civic Platform 21 seats Law and Justice 13 seat City Council in 2010 to 2014. Civic Platform 26 seats. Law and Justice 7 seats. Democratic Left Alliance 1 seat. City Council in 2014 to 2018. Civic Platform 22 seats. Law and Justice 12 seats. Topic. Districts Gdansk is divided into 34 administrative divisions, 6 Jilnikas and 28 Osidals. Gdansk Jilnikas include, Chelm, Piki Migowo, Prismors Velki, Srodmieski, Wrzezczz Dolny, Wrzezczz Gorny. Osidals, Aniolki, Bredovo, Brzezno, Jasian, Kakashki, Krakowik Gorki Zakodny, Letnica, Matarnia, Malaniska, Nawi Port, Aliwa, Olzinka, Orunia Su. 
Wojciech Lips, Osova, Prizorobka, Prismors Mail, Rudniki, Sidolce, Sobyshevo Island, Stogi, Sturzaza, Suchanino, Ujesisko Lostovica, Seven Dwar, Wizgors Mikowitsa, Zaspa Milanik, Zaspa Rostahe, Zabianka Wedjura Jalitko Tisiaklisha. Topic: Education and Science. There are 15 higher schools including three universities. In 2001 there were 60,436 students, including 10,439 graduates. University of Gdansk Universitet Gdanski. Gdansk University of Technology Politechnika Gdanska. Gdansk Medical University Gdanski Universitet Medicni. Academy of Physical Education and Sport of Gdansk Akademia Wykowania Fizycznego i Sportu i M. Jedreja Sniadekiego Musical Academy Akademia Muzizna i M. Stanislawa Moniuski Arts Academy Akademia S. Z. Tuk Pinich Institute of Fluid Flow Machinery of the Polish Academy of Sciences, Institut Mazin Przepływowicz im. Roberta Szewalskiego Pan Institut Budonektwa Wodnego Pan Ateneum, Skola Wysza Gdańska Wysza Skola Humanistyzna Gdańska Wysza Skola Administraji Wysza Skola Spolzno Ekonomiczna Wysza Skola Turystyki i Hotelerstwa W. Gdańsku Wysza Skola Zarzadzania WSB Universities, WSB University in Gdańsk Scientific and regional organizations Gdańsk Scientific Society Baltic Institute Institute Baltiki, established 1925 in Torin, since 1946, in Gdansk TNOIK, Towarzystu Naukau Organizaji i Kirawanya Scientific Society for Organization and Management o, Gdansk IBNGR, Institut Baden nad Gospodarka Rinkoa The Gdansk Institute for Market Economics Topic: International relations. Topic: Twin towns and sister cities. Gdansk is twinned with. Topic: Partnerships and cooperation. Le Havre, Normandy, France. Topic Gallery. Topic Population. Topic Notable people. Topic. See also Tourism in Poland 764 Gdania, a minor planet orbiting the Sun Danzig Highflyer Father Eugenius Dutkiewicz Sak Hospice Kashubian Kursaneki List of neighborhoods of Gdansk Street Mary's Church, Gdansk Laznia Center for Contemporary Art Ronald Reagan Park Live in Gdansk List of honorary citizens of Gdansk